Our world is primarily composed of water at the surface, and yet the ocean is relatively unexplored. Divers and researchers have discovered a lot of things underwater in recent years, but the wonders of the sea are infinite. These underwater mysteries, both man-made artifacts and new creatures, continue to astonish and baffle us, proving that we know a lot less about the world we live in than we originally thought. From underwater gnomes to cold case, here are 15 strangest things found by deep sea divers. Number 15. Underwater Gnomes Some people find garden gnomes quite creepy, and honestly, I do too. So when a team of divers found these creepy gnomes underwater, they were completely disturbed. These underwater gnomes were found in Wastwater, the deepest lake in England that has a depth of about 260 feet. This lake is quite popular with divers, and in recent years it became the watery homes for gnomes for years. According to authorities, people kept putting garden gnomes underwater just for the fun of it. Soon enough, a huge crowd of garden gnomes are scattered all over the lake. At first, authorities were very adamant to remove them in fear that divers would dive too deep and drown after they heard rumors that the gnomes were placed deeper than 165 feet. Fortunately, there have been no incidents relating to garden gnomes in recent years. Today, you'll probably still find some creepy garden gnomes in Wastwater. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Apollo 11 Engines As they say, there are more planes in the sea than submarines in the sky. I guess we can say that the ocean also serves as the final resting place of many spacecraft. One of the most amazing spacecraft discovered underwater are the engines of the Apollo 11, after four decades. The F-1 engines that powered the Saturn V rocket that sent the iconic Apollo 11 moon landing mission into orbit. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin successfully landed on the moon and marked a new achievement for the history of mankind. The engines were found 14,000 feet below the ocean, off the coast of Florida. There's one problem, though. It's no question that the engines were wrecked when they were ejected, but their serial numbers are also partially missing. This means we can't ever verify if these engines really are the ones that belong to the Apollo 11 mission. But there's a huge possibility that these engines really are the very ones that launched mankind into space. Number 13. Beeswax Many years ago, an interesting phenomena happened on the Oregon coast. Native Americans near the area kept discovering beeswax and other strange objects in what is known as the Nehalem River. They had no idea where all the chunks of beeswax were coming from and they kept appearing in the river for generations. Sometimes they found Chinese porcelain, clay pots, and also wooden objects along with the beeswax. The amount they collected was so enormous that it came to the point where they collected it and it became a major commodity for the Native Americans, who found opportunity by trading them with other settlers. By 1990, the beeswax found in the area became rarer, but the curiosity of the people continued to grow. Archaeologists tried their best to discover the source of the debris, and they gave the hypothetical shipwreck, the beeswax wreck. Scuba divers tried their best to search the ocean for the wreck, but unfortunately, aside from more beeswax, they found no traces of the shipwreck. They do have a hypothesis about the story of the ship that brought years of beeswax supply to the Oregon coast. After reviewing multiple historical records, they successfully pieced the puzzle together. The wreck is called the Santo Cristo de Burgos, Back in 1693, the galleon set sail from Manila, Philippines to Acapulco, Mexico using the trade routes of the Spaniards across the Pacific Ocean. The ship was packed with Chinese porcelain and large chunks of Asian beeswax inscribed with Spanish merchant symbols. So how did this huge cargo ship end up on the Oregon coast? Well, somehow, Santo Cristo de Burgos drifted off course and wrecked at the base of Neacani Mountain. At least few of the crew survived the wreck. However, the ship got destroyed and all its cargo completely dumped into the ocean waters. Seven years after the wreck, the Pacific Northwest was devastated by a powerful earthquake that brought a series of huge tsunami waves. This incident buried the remaining wreck of Santo Cristo de Burgos, rendering it completely destroyed and untraceable. It also washed away the huge supply of Asian beeswax towards the Oregon coast. Number 12. Sea Angels what you're looking at isn't an imaginary creature. This little angel actually exists, and they roam our planet's oceans. With wing-like fins that they use to propel themselves, these sea angels look like little cherubs in the water. They're graceful swimmers, and they're very beautiful to watch. These creatures are fairly translucent, which makes them look more ethereal and surreal. 
Additionally, this also allows us to see their glowing insides, which are actually their gonads, which are a pretty pink and orange color. Despite looking like an angel, their other characteristics aren't so angelic. Sea angels are actually predators with a pretty sick bite. You can also say that they're cannibals because one of their favorite snacks is their close relative, the species of shelled sea snails, commonly known as sea butterflies. Sea angels have specialized appendages specifically for scooping sea butterflies out of their shells. Sea butterflies are just luxurious escargot meals for them. They can finish their prey in as little as two minutes. Their unique characteristics don't end here. These creatures also have the remarkable ability to switch genders. In short, these guys are hermaphrodites. They start out as males, then switch to females throughout the course of their lives. They reproduce by mating for four hours, looking as if two sea angels are locked in a dance. Number 11. Roman Shipwreck The ancient Roman civilization is one of the most prominent in the world. The Romans contributed a lot of modern language, religion, society, technology, law, politics, and art. This civilization influenced the entire world one way or another. It's no wonder that every artifact linked to Romans are so valuable, no matter how tiny they are. Imagine the delight of divers when they discovered a Roman shipwreck carrying about 6,000 amphorae used as shipping containers. Divers found the wreck at the depth of 197 feet in the Mediterranean Sea. This is one of the largest Roman shipwrecks researchers ever found. According to experts, the ship dates back sometime between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD. Around this time, the Roman Empire is starting to rise. They found traces of olive oil and wine in the terracotta pots. Unfortunately, the cargo never reached its destination. Surprisingly, the ship is still in very good condition thanks to the layers of sand that protected it from external factors that would have destroyed the ship. This is one of the most valuable and significant Roman shipwrecks found in the area, not only because of its size, but also because it proves that Viscardo was a very important stop on Roman trading routes during the ancient times. Number 10. Flamingo Slam Snail Take a look at this interesting creature. This brightly colored marine mollusk is known as the Flamingo Tongue Snail. They're usually found in tropical waters from the coast of North Carolina down to Brazil and throughout the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. They're pretty easy to spot due to their bright, vibrant colors, and they also like to chill in shallow waters from 0 to 100 feet deep. They're quite small, only growing between 0.75 to 1 inch in length. At first glance, you'd think that they're timid creatures. They have a wavy foot beneath their bodies that they can use to move and eat, and they have antenna on their heads that contain their eyes. They might be tiny, but these guys are highly toxic. One of their favorite foods is the Gorgonian coral, which is highly toxic to other animals. But flamingo tongue snails are immune to their toxins. Due to this, the flamingo tongue snails also became toxic creatures themselves. However, there are also large predatory fish out there that are immune to poison themselves and don't mind the sharp taste of flamingo slam snails. Number 9. Kushite King's Royal Tomb Somewhere below the surface of this little pool of brown water lies the entrance to a magnificent 2,300-year-old tomb of a pharaoh known as Nastasin. Archaeologists first uncovered a long, ancient staircase that leads downwards to the ancient tomb, nearly undisturbed for thousands of years. But to explore the entrance of the tomb, they need to wear diving gear, and they need to search under the dark groundwater accumulating in the tomb throughout the years. This submerged ancient tomb has been the center of many underwater archaeology exhibits, but it still remains unopened and largely unexplored. Number 8. 13,000-Year-Old Human Skull Imagine diving in Yucatan, Mexico's 150-foot water-filled trench called Black Hole. You're not searching for anything in particular, but you suddenly spot a very terrifying thing in the corner of your eye. A human skull. Back in 2007, a team of divers found a relatively complete skeleton of a girl that was estimated to be 15 to 16 years old at the time of her death. Because of the location of her skeleton, she's given the nickname Naya, the Greek term for water nymph. Her remains were carefully analyzed and studied, and her backstory is astounding. She lived 13,000 years ago, making her one of the earliest humans found in America. And thanks to our astounding advancement in science, researchers also found that she shares the same genetic ancestry with modern Native Americans. It's astounding that her remains were preserved by the cold, dark waters, and we could almost imagine how she traveled on an ancient land bridge that's now known as the Bering Strait. 
Thanks to Naya's discovery, scientists solidified the fact that there is only one major migration in the Americas thousands of years ago. Number 7. Christmas Tree Worm You don't need to worry about finding these creatures on your Christmas tree. These worms got their names because of their shape. Plus, these creatures are actually scattered all over the world's oceans. These creatures are quite peculiar, and divers would often spend their time admiring them if they ever spot one in the ocean. Christmas tree worms spend most of their lives in their tube forms, which they do to protect themselves from harm. They grow up to 1.35 inches long, and while they're incredibly tiny, they're actually identified as carnivorous creatures. Bet you didn't expect that. These colorful marine animals are quite the sight in the ocean with their vibrant spiraling plumes. They like to stay near corals in shallow waters, less than 100 feet deep. They mainly eat zooplankton, which are microscopic animals. This includes krill, sea snails, worms, and other creatures. Number 6. Underwater Moai Statue What you're seeing right now is the underwater Moai statue located off the southwestern shore of Easter Island. This giant statue was placed by the local inhabitants in the ocean, and now it's become a place where sea life is thriving and abundant. Divers can also easily reach this site if they want to take a picture with the iconic statue in the Mike Rapu Diving Center. The original Moai statues are in Easter Island, with their faces away from the sea and towards the villages. According to archaeologists, these statues represent the Polynesian people's ancestors, and their position indicates that they're watching over the people of the villages. These enigmatic monoliths with an average size of 13 feet and 14 tons were most likely created by the ancient Rapa Nui carvers that lived on the island many years ago. Curiously, these statues were known as Easter Island heads, but archaeologists discovered that they actually have full bodies which have become submerged through the years. For over 30,000 years, this island has been covered with palm trees, but today, it's completely treeless. Evidence suggests that the trees disappeared between the years 1200 and 1650. There are two theories surrounding the disappearance of trees on the island. First, the locals cut it down to give way to the Moai statues, and the second is that the huge number of rats that used to live on the island hindered the ability of trees to reproduce. Number 5. Giant Isopod Think of a giant roach-like creature that lives underwater. Pretty terrifying, right? Unfortunately, they actually exist. Meet the giant isopod. This creature is the colossal cousin of krill, lobsters, and crabs. They're usually found chilling on the deep sea floor, feasting on fish carcasses and other debris that fell from above. With that being said, you don't need to worry about these guys suddenly attaching themselves to you while you're in the water. While they do eat meat, they prefer to clean the ocean floor about 1,600 feet below the ocean surface. The giant isopod is the largest among the thousands of isopod species, and they're also the most mysterious. You see, they were only discovered in 1879, and researchers have yet to study their biology and behavior extensively. I say it's better that we leave them alone on the ocean floor, undisturbed. But I guess you gotta face your fears in the name of science. These isopods have 14 legs and fan-like tails to help them propel themselves in the water. They grow up to a little over 16 inches, and their size is usually attributed to deep-sea gigantism. Number 4. Underwater Jason There are all sorts of stuff in the water, but no one certainly expects to see a masked murderer chained at the bottom of a lake. No matter how much horror stories scare us, we can easily take solace in the fact that they're not real. Well, most of them aren't, at least. This installment certainly is one of the strangest things found by divers. Somewhere, there's a mad lad that decided to expand Jason's reign of terror underwater. If you're an avid horror fan and a passionate diver as well, then you might be delighted to hear that Jason Voorhees continues to live underwater. I guess Friday the 13th may have another installment soon. Back in 2013, a fan built this installment of Jason Voorhees and put him underwater at a popular diving site in Crosby, Minnesota and still remains at the location to this day. This literal nightmare material of a dive attraction is placed 120 feet at the bottom of the lake. The noticeable wear and tear of the installment just makes Jason look more sinister. Lake Pleasant is known for having the best inland scuba diving in the western states, but this just made it much more interesting. Every local knows about this installment, so there's a huge chance that they warn people. But it's also possible that they wouldn't let people know about it just to terrify them while diving. What do you think about this terrifying fictional serial killer? Number 3. Jesus Statue 
This Christ of the Abyss statue is located in San Fruttuoso, Italy. However, there were several statues just like this in the world. The very first one was created back in 1954, with the monument measuring 2.5 meters tall and weighing about 260 kilograms without the base. These statues were created to represent peace and blessing. It's certainly strange to see this for the first time. However, you can't deny that the statue looks a bit magical as you continue to spectate it underwater. Most of all, this statue also commemorates the death of a fellow diver in the exact same spot. Number 2. Holy Grail of Shipwreck Any diver would be incredibly delighted to see a shipwreck worth billions. For centuries, the San Jose Galleon lay lost and forgotten on the ocean floor. But in 2015, some divers spotted it and it was announced officially to the public. The story of this pirate shipwreck starts in the year 1708 on the 8th of June. Spanish galleon San Jose burst into flames off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia as it battled with the British. It shortly capsized along with nearly 600 people and up to $20 billion worth of gold, silver and jewels. Of course, everyone coveted to have the riches of the galleon. We're talking about billions of dollars here, and with no clear owner, many people wanted to get their hands on the ancient riches. This holy grail of shipwrecks hasn't been found by common folks, but officials say that they have the exact location of the wreck pinned down. I guess there's nothing more pleasant than spotting some ancient riches at the bottom of the ocean. Number 1. Cold Case Now this is one curious case. This story begins back in April 2000 when two teenagers went missing out of the blue. All people know is that they were last seen driving a Pontiac Grand Am in Sparta, Tennessee. For years, teams searched tirelessly for the two, but all their efforts went to waste. For 20 years, this has been considered a cold case until it was solved by a YouTube diver using just his diving gear, sonar, and underwater exploration equipment. This has been one of the many instances where internet sleuths saved the day. After finding out about the cold case online, YouTuber Nug decided to visit Sparta, Tennessee. Many were surprised when he solved the cold case. While diving in Tennessee's Calf Killer River, he found the Pontiac submerged in the river in the water as well as the missing teens still in the vehicle. Nug isn't the only diver and internet sleuth that solved a missing person case. However, he commented that while they could help people occasionally, they have no experience tracing missing people formally. You can't deny that this feat in itself is pretty amazing, and the knowledge that Nug brought peace to a couple of families surely would make you feel accomplished. I can't even imagine how much pain families have to endure whenever a case remains to be unresolved indefinitely. It just proves that many among us have the brain, wits, and guts to solve cases using the help of the internet and a few diving tools. Which of these discoveries intrigued you the most? And have you ever tried diving before? If so, what's the most interesting thing you saw underwater? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.